Here's what we know. 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 There's an extraordinary amount of campaign cash inside the system. Campaign money distorts markets, which distorts food production, which distorts our kids, which at least makes it hard to believe that there was voting on the merits. Here's what we know. 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 Or think about the recent debacle on Wall Street. Of course, we saw in 2008 the collapse of our economy thrown over the cliff by a collapse on Wall Street. Why is it we came to this bubble and disaster? Well, as Johnson and Quack describe in this book, 13 Bankers, in part it's this perverse mix, per per perverse mix of deregulation and re-regulation that the government brought into the financial services sector over the past 20 years. Here's what we know. 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 Because of this deregulation, these innovations were invisible to the market. The assets which they represented were not recorded or public or subject to anti-fraud requirements, producing this invisible shadow economy. And the shadow banking encouraged the bubble, which of course burst in 2008 because of this deregulation. But that wasn't enough for Wall Street, the deregulation. They also needed a little bit of re-regulation. Here's what we know. 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 When this bubble burst, if in fact it ever burst, they would get a bailout to assure they wouldn't pay the price. And of course, they got it, producing the dumbest instance of socialism ever in the history of man, socializing the risk while privatizing the benefit, a kind of heads they win, tails we lose structure, insanely stupid way to regulate a financial system. Why did we regulate it like that? Striking at the root. How is it possible? Striking at the root. We don't even dream anymore. Striking at the root. How is it possible? Striking at the root. Why? Striking at the root. Why? We don't even dream anymore.